All right, this video is about what is the natural resonance revolution. And uh, that's a, a phrase I coined. And I was living in Minneapolis, and I also coined a phrase called etherealize pranarchy. Um, and this is a pun on realize anarchy with um, realize being changed to the ether, etherealize. And anarchy being changed to prana, which is the Indian version of of chi. And then I, and then in 2015 I called this conspiracy chi. And so, the progressive left has has started a. Um, academic analysis of what they call conspirituality, which is a combination of conspiracy and spirituality um, as part of the uh, fascist right-wing movement in the the U.S., but that also combines into uh, left-wing um, groups as well, and so this goes back to the book, um, The Stargate Conspiracy by Lynn Picknett and Clive Prince. And so, it's what uh, Professor David F. Noble called the, the religion of technology. So, I've been part of the virtual community online called the the Doomer community, or the environmental abrupt global warming near-term human extinction uh, community. And there are certain scientists like... Um, well, even other progressive um, activists have targeted and attacked the, the Doomer community as being a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy that um, by insisting we are doomed, therefore... Um, we're just not going to do anything and and make ourselves doomed no matter what. And what I've done is turn this around and had had a a book on Amazon that I self-published as a joke called Do Om up the yin yang and so even the word doom can be turned around to do om and of course this is the infamous um, navel gazing uh, put down or critique of 
by the left or the right that if you're just going to sit around navel gazing then you're just being an escapist and so all these issues were discussed by Morris Berman who got his um, math PhD and then was a liberal studies professor and I actually called him up in 1996 to find looking for I was looking for one of his books and he was he was very nice on the phone and he just said well it's out of print good luck you know you gotta just look around and I did finally find his his books and then his his at that time his books were about the sort of a um esoteric history of the west based on um our our subconscious and how it manifests um politically and socially um, and so he, he, he then wrote a book called Wandering God about the original human culture, the San Bushman. And he didn't have all the details on the, the San Bushman, you know, as far as the um, training by the males and so um yesterday i i just watched um the co-op wars documentary about minneapolis and the cooperatives that were set up in the out of out of the 60s and early 70s and and then the, a sort of a, a Maoist uh, cult based on the Little Red Book and uh, um, radical uh, union activists were Marxist Leninists but also Maoists and they believed that um, violence <clears throat> was necessary to further and the revolution and using infiltration and so they uh, attacked the cooperatives as being too um, bourgeois and white and middle class and, and so the Maoists used um, violence to then take over and and then the the white um, middle-class people would just start a new, um, distribution warehouse so they didn't have to deal with the, the violent thugs. And, um, and the whole point was the, the, the original intent was to distribute and sell, um, healthy local food. Um, so it's whole grains and, but then the, the Maoists thought, well, we need to sell, um, sugar and sugar and junk food because that's what the working class are, are already eating in the city. And that will bring in their, their business if we provide them with the junk food um, so we can see that in actuality um, the environment is considered uh, more important to and to try to um, adapt to people's uh, pre um, the structural 
conditions, in this case, what, what kind of food they're eating, and then try to work from within based on their, their already um, bad uh, environmental conditions. But the problem is, is that cities are inherently parasitical. And this goes back to Roman, the Roman aqueducts, because the Romans did not use uh, humanure composting, or what's also called ecological sanitation. And so in uh, meditation, there is a composting of our lower emotional energy and it's increased in uh, frequency into light and the idea is that all matter is actually made of light and as science has proven as Roger Penrose emphasizes um, entropy is reversed between matter and gravity and light is actually powered by, or it's curved by gravity as a space-time energy that um, is also a um, quantum quantum entanglement. So the um, the future and the past of time itself is inverse to the frequency of the light that then creates new matter from the reverse entropy or negative entropy as reverse time energy. And this is what the natural resonance revolution is, is that in fact um, civilization based on materialism has increased entropy on earth as going against space time itself with the moon and the sun resonance with earth. And so we have to focus on the negative entropy of gravity as the hidden energy of light instead of the supposedly negative entropy of matter, which is what civilization has been trying to do by creating buildings and cities.